On June 8, the forest along the Jacks River in North Georgia's Cahutta Wilderness Area was lovely, as it was on September 2, 2022, and September 11, 2020. All the trees look alike from a distance. They're green. Could you differentiate between forest trees and figure out which are oaks or maples, elms or ashes, dogwoods or persimmons, or any of the other 265 species native to the state? With a degree in forestry, I know many Georgia trees, though not all of them. But for most laymen, trying to identify trees is challenging since everything looks alike. It can be confusing. But in summer, some species have distinctive features like unique leaf shapes, flowers, or fruits that make identification easier. Here are 10 Georgia trees you can identify in summer by obvious and distinctive characteristics. Number 1. Red Mulberry the fruit of this species ripens in June and resembles blackberries. No other tree except white mulberry has fruit like it. Red mulberry leaves are often broad at the base, come to a point, and the edges are finely serrate or toothed. On the top, they are scabrous, which means the leaves feel like sandpaper. On the underside, they have soft hairs. Red mulberry is occasional throughout the state. White mulberry, which has smooth leaves rather than hairy ones, was introduced into Georgia nearly 300 years ago for silkworm production. It is much less common. Number two, post oak has leaves that are cruciform in shape. That is, the leaves are cross-shaped. Resurrection fern seems to prefer post oak over any other tree species with the possible exception of live oak. This fern, which blankets branches and older post oaks, is shriveled and gray or brown in dry weather, but lush and green when it's wet. Post oak is occasional to common throughout the state. Number three, sassafras is a small to medium sized tree with bright green leaves that come in three shapes, pitchfork, mitten, and elliptical. The leaves and stems when crushed have a pleasant citrus smell. Sassafras is common throughout Georgia, favoring fence rows and sometimes growing in dense colonies. Number four, yellow poplar is an impressive forest tree that grows straight and tall, its trunk distinctly columnar and sometimes free of branches nearly to its crown. Its leaf shape is unique among trees, four lobes with an almost flat top. Its orange and green flowers resemble tulips. This tree is found throughout the state most commonly in the Piedmont and mountains. Number five, red buckeye is a small tree found in the southern half of the state and most of the western border. Spikes of bright red flowers bloom in April. It has palmately compound leaves, five leaflets radiating from a common point. The only other buckeyes native to Georgia have yellow flowers. Of these, yellow buckeye is a much larger tree limited to the high mountains and painted buckeye, which is a shrub, is found in central Georgia. Number six, American chestnut has leaves that are long and distinctly serrate or toothed. The closely related Allegheny chinkapin has a similar leaf shape, but its leaves are noticeably smaller. Once abundant in North Georgia, American chestnut is nearly extinct due to a fungus blight. Its ability to re-sprout from roots allows the trees to survive for a time, like this group on Johns Mountain, but the sprouts soon succumb to the blight. Today, American chestnuts sometimes grow big enough to produce burrs like this one, each of which contain three nuts. Number seven, black walnut nuts grow in a round husk that reach the size of tennis balls. The long, attractive compound leaves have 15 to 23 leaflets and contrast nicely with the very dark bark. Most other species with compound leaves have fewer leaflets like ash and hickory or rounded leaflets like black locust or are no more than small trees like sumacs and mimosa. Black walnut is occasional in the northern and western two-thirds of the state. Number eight, sweet gum has five lobed pointed leaves that are unlike any other species in Georgia. The leaves sometimes turn purple in autumn a rarity among Georgia hardwoods. No other tree has distinctive spiked gumballs. These are usually born in abundance, but this year was an off year, so I scavenged under sweet gums in my yard to find these two examples from last year. Sweet gum is common throughout 
the state except at high elevations. Number nine, southern red oak is a large tree found in forests, parks, and cemeteries. Like all red oaks, of which there are many, the, the leaf lobes are pointed rather than rounded. The base of each leaf is bell-shaped, which is unique to this species. Southern red oak is occasional to common throughout the state, mainly at lower elevations. And number 10, box elder has leaves that are compound with green petioles and stems and three to seven leaflets that resemble poison ivy leaves. Like all members of the maple family, box elder seeds are, are winged samaras that helicopter on their way to the ground. Box elder is occasional in the northern half of the state and locally common in the lower Chattahoochee River bottomlands. You may not find these trees in your yard, but some of them will be in local parks along fence rows or near woodland trails. Sassafras and sweet gum may be the easiest to identify given their abundance and unique leaf shapes. So keep your eyes open, have fun looking, and thank you for watching.